adulterous bride who is now deserting her merciful bridegroom who had shed his precious blood for a high price of freedom from the terrible bondage of the devil. This present church shall be purged and refined and made suitable for the Lord Jesus Christ, the bridegroom. And this purging shall involve severe punishment and death for sinning believers and for obstinate and disobedient Christians. And it shall involve loss of status and loss of honor for careless and unfaithful ministers of God. The present church has sunk to the level of the world. And this present church can only see things from the standpoint of the world. The church has failed utterly. It has fallen from its high and holy position. Unbreakable things are now found in the assembly of the saints. Therefore, the spirit of judgment shall fall upon the church at this end time, which no one can stop. For the time has come that the judgment should begin in the household of God. Are you aware of invasion from hell? Invasion from hell? Yes. Aggressive demons from the gates of hell have invaded the world, putting on human flesh and storming evangelical and Pentecostal churches in form of men, women, and ladies to wage eight-time war against the church. And they are taking their final move because they want to hinder the eight-time move of the Holy Spirit. They want to confuse the mind of believers from known scriptural truths. And they want to harden the heart of all believers and therefore seal the destiny of the world for total destruction. I tell you, they are taking their final move because they know that their time is very short and their days are numbered. Baba, is that why countless believers are now confused as to the right way to live, the right appearance to put on, and the right clothes to wear? Even besides that, their ladies have seduced many ministers of God and neutralized the anointing, rendering the power of God in their lives of no effect. But, Baba, since believers are now confused, I don't know what to do. I'm terribly confused. Not you alone. Many believers are in complete confusion, too. And many are deceived. Unbelievers, too, are in complete confusion. Take this Bible and open to Philippians chapter 2, verse 15, and read. That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Yes. If then this crooked and perverse world be in outer darkness of sin, and the church does not portray a difference, because it's already full of blames and blemishes, then the light of this world is dimmed. The city upon the heat is hidden, and the salt has lost its savor. Baba, is that the condition of the church of God at present? Has the salt of the heart lost its savor? Has it not? Has it not? When a lot of Pentecostal churches have turned their Sunday evening services to a period of disco nights, and funky ministers with modern worldly hair cut fashions have fueled the nation, quenching the fire or revival wherever they go, and commercial ministers preaching and healing for money and material gain. 
hope. There is a strange spirit of unrighteousness in the church of God. Unrighteousness is not being spiritually turned to righteousness. Oh. Many ministers and servants of God who are called to be holy as their heavenly father now take fornication and adultery as part of the weaknesses of the flesh. So the sinful old nature is gradually manifesting in the lives of many believers. And the end time dynamic teachers and ministers of God are calling it a radical move of God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, help us, revive us. What shall we do? Bring us back again. Baba, I am frightened. You said the coming of the Lord is imminent. How would the Lord meet his bride when he comes back for her unexpectedly? Oh, what a great day of disappointment. When the bridegroom comes and meet the bride unprepared. Oh, Lord, help us. Revive us. Bring us back. We are the same. Daughter, you know what? The time is up. The midnight hour now remains few seconds for the arrival of the Lord. The Lord has finished preparing the glorious mansion on the golden streets of heaven. The heaven has set. The angels and the archangels are extremely excited across the length and breadth of heaven in preparation for the arrival of the children of God into glory. All is now set for the marriage feast of the Lamb. Baba, oh, I don't think I'm worthy to go with the Lord when he comes back. I think my glorious garment of righteousness is now, is now stained with the sin of pleasure and worldliness of this world. Oh, I don't think I'm worthy to stand before the Lord when he comes back. Oh, how ready am I? How ready is the bride of the Lord? My garment is stained and I know it. Oh. Oh. The time is set for me. me. To go, go and bring, bring home my beautiful bride, the church, my, my body, the, the glorious believers, rescued from the, the slave market of sin. I pay their heavy price for her freedom with my, my own precious Lord. The holy angels are eager to receive our home into glory. Our exceedingly glorious mansion are garnished with heavenly precious stones. My precious church, my beloved bride, God with my precious love, they have trusted in my salvation all along and have kept themselves pure from the spot and blemishes of this perverse world. My bride shall be with me forever. She shall reign with me in my father's kingdom and his eternal glories. I will adorn a garment with all manner of heavenly precious stone, and the marriage feast of the Lamb, which is to be held in our honor to welcome her into my Father's kingdom. <laughs>